Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. Now, you know I like to flip-flop between the budget and the not-so-budget knives. Well, today we're going to check out one that is maybe not in the budget realm. This is the CMB Made Knives Dharma. Ho, 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 wow. Does that not look fancy? Mr. Fancy Pants, look at this. Oh, my God. Goodness, I gotta tell you, this carbon fiber with the foil in it, oh, it looks so good. It does have a lanyard hole, and we're gonna check out and see what the action of ergos and all that good stuff is. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on it, so pay attention, focus. My focus needs more focus. I don't know about you, but yeah, looks like some nice jimping going on, and oh, a little bit, oh, 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 I'm getting too close. A little bit of nice small jimping going on. A little jimping there. Ooh, you know I love my jimping. And a little kind of ramp. And this is a curiosity. I've seen this on a couple other channels. I'm going to check it out and see how this works. And it does have a milled pocket clip, which is very nice. We'll see how this goes in and out of the pocket. Um, oh, yeah. It just snaps in and out. No, no snagging at all. There's no screws down there to snag on your pocket whatsoever. Nice looking titanium backspacer. So you have this kind of this dual action. You have the front area here that looks like a bolster and it's titanium, baby. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Look at that. The overall length of this bad boy is 8.26 inches. It's 4.4 ounces. You have a 3.72 inch blade. Your blade stock's 3.8 inches and it's 17 thousandths of an inch behind the edge. Oh, oh yeah. Ceramic cage bearings. Ooh. 4.54 inch handle and we're going to check out what it looks like next to a couple other knives here in just a second. Is it solid? Oh my goodness. Rock solid. Feels like a fixed blade. No, nothing at all and here's a look at your spine look at that it's beefy but it comes down to a great edge oh my goodness the lockup uh what do we have we're about 20 percent on the lockup and are we centered yes we are centered and for 20 percent lockup i don't think anyone is going to be using this as a work knife you know to work at the concrete factory this is what i would say is a collector's knife i know i get comments when i show a nicer knife like this and people are like i could buy five or six of this for the price of that yeah, i get it I get it, but there are folks that this is in their price range, or this very well could become one of their grail knives. I'll show you what it looks like next to a couple other knives, and then we'll see how the action and the ergos are panning out. Here is, you already knew it was coming, the QSP Penguin, baby. And here's another one from CMB Made Knives. And I got to tell you, they make some very, very, very nice ones. Look at that same kind of scales going on. This is the Zetsu, and let's put a couple more up here. How about... The Savivi Cache. <laughs> I was looking for a couple more that were pointy, but you know what? I think we should show a couple other different type blades. How about the Devo Knives Stout? <laughs> oh yeah, love it. I love, 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 love this carbon fiber. And here is the Tempest Knives Pinion. <laughs> oh yeah, two excellent knives. So if you have one of these, now you know how long, how long the blade is, how long the handle is. Thickness wise, they feel just about the same. And I'll show you one more. You know I gotta show you a Kaiser. How about the Kaiser Big Lighter 2? Let's put it up here. How about this? There you go. Look at that. There you go, little fella. Very nice. You know, there's another one I want to throw up here just because it was within reach. How about the Concept Nazca? Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, how's that for a pair? And let's see what kind of factory edge we got going on here. Oh, yeah. Nice and clean. Ooh. Yes. Look at that. It is just gliding. Gliding through nice and quiet. Ooh, mama. I can just sit here and make confetti for the rabbit cage all day. Let's check out the action of the ergos of this bad boy. For reference, my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a half inches. Now you know. Now, let's. I'm curious what we're going to be able to do with this little nub right here. It does have some very nice jimping. It grabs my skin. First, Push button. Oh, yeah. Comes out in. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it is smooth. Let's see. It has that hydraulic type action. It drops shut. All you got to do is give it a little start. Check it out. Oh, yes. Ooh, it just it just screams, I'm fancy. Ooh, very nice. And the pull, very, very nice. Okay, this jipping is perfecto. It grabs my skin just like I like. And it's going all the way around. I wish all flipper tabs had the jipping all the way around like that. So it grabbed my skin. That way you don't have any misses. And you can even push button very, very nicely. And how about a reverse flick? Oh yeah, all day long. Easy, easy reverse flick. 
I can even do it with my left hand. Oh, yeah. Pass through. Pass through is really good. It has some jipping in here. It's not overly aggressive. It is just right. It helps grab your skin. Very, very easy to disengage. I'm liking it. Now, let's check out this top flipper button dealio. So it looks like it has a landing page or landing page. Yeah, landing spot for a uh, over the top flip. And it does. And it's almost, okay, all right. It's kind of in between a slow roll and a top flipper or front flipper. It's kind of in between. It's not in the front. It's kind of on top. How about over top? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. I've never seen one that comes up here at the top like this, but this area right up here in front of it kind of gives you a starting point for your finger. Look at that. And then your finger just rolls right over it. It actually makes it very easy to top flip. Can I do this left-handed top flip? Oh yeah, easy. And I think the reason why that is so easy is because the jipping is just so good. So you have multiple deployment options on this bad boy. You have, you can do the push button and the pull on it. And oh, can we, can, can we use our thumb? Yes, you can use your thumb to open it up. You can also slow roll it. So for all you fidgeters out there that want a nicer knife that you can fidget with, this is, oh, it's money. And let's see, Ergo's. Fits my hand like a glove and big old, look at that, beautiful, beautiful forward choil. My finger goes in there very nicely. Ooh, that, that, <laughs> oh yeah, it's comfortable. Oh my goodness. So if you're in the market for, for a nicer knife, these run, uh, they run, I wrote it around somewhere, ah, 253, they're around 250 bones. I'll put a link or links in the description if you want to go check it out. There's a couple different versions of these bad boy, but all in all, I mean, it has a satin stone wash finish. The, the finish looks very nice. I have to say the CMB knives that I've experienced are nice. And this one is, oh my goodness, it is no exception. So absolutely smooth. <laughs> I love it. And the reverse flick is just phenomenal. Oh, I, I can't, I'm doting. I'm doting right now. I'm not seeing any problems. I'm not seeing any holes or uh, imperfections, at least not for my view, in the uh, carbon fiber. The carbon fiber looks really, really good. So there you go. There is the CMB Made Knives Dharma. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Or are you just indifferent about the whole thing? Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Heck, if you don't have an opinion about the knife, you already know. Tell me what you had for breakfast. Go watch this video. You're going to enjoy those knives a lot. And until I talk to you in the chats or see in the live stream or the live streams, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.